What is up guys? I'm super excited to do this video. I don't want you guys to miss out on any supers, so let's get straight to it. I want to make sure that you guys are looking for the correct cars, so make sure you go to hwtreasure.com, click on the supers, scroll down to 2023, and click on the complete list and go over that and memorize it before you go out Hot Wheels hunting so you don't have a problem identifying which one to super. Now that you guys have the complete list of supers, let's go over the four different ways that you can identify a super. Yeah. Alright, so I just got the super out of the case. Let's go over the four different ways that you'll be able to identify that this is a super rather than this regular here. So, the first thing being is that this one has Spectrofame paint. What is Spectrofame paint? It's what they used on the RLC and they used on the red lines back in the 60s and they also use it on the supers. The top one here is a regular, so it does not have Spectrofame paint. It's the exact same car that they put out, but it's not a Super. Now, the second thing that you're going to be able to notice is these wheels. This one has chrome wheels with rubber on them. The top one here is the regular, which does not. It has plastic wheels. And the third thing being, this one says TH. It's kind of hard to see, but it says TH right there behind the back door and next to the rear fender there. And the regular one does not. So you'll be able to find that TH on the car and make sure that it is a super. Now the fourth being right back behind the car there, you'll see a gold circle with a flame in it. That is the low production symbol for Hot Wheels indicating that this is indeed a super. So it's not always going to be easy to identify a super. So let's go over my Batmobile that I have right here. This one's not so easy to identify compared to the regular. So we're going to go over that right now so I can help you guys figure out if it's a Super or not. Now which one is a Super and which one is not? Now right here obviously is the Super and this one's the regular. But this one has the Spectre Frame paint. It's a lot lighter while this one's darker. But as you can see, the wheels almost look exactly the same. So you really have to tilt the card sometimes, look for that gold symbol, um, check the wheels, make sure they have rubber wheels on it, and uh, make sure it says TH. This one says TH right there on that front door. So sometimes it's hard or sometimes it's easy to spot it. In this case, this one's you know, pretty hard to spot. So make sure you don't miss out on it. Make sure you go on H wtreasurehunt.com and make sure you're looking for the correct cars. Supers come in all shapes and sizes. That's right. You can get them in a long card and you can also get them in the short card. So be sure to check out the short card for supers. You don't want to miss one. All right, so I have two 2023 supers in my hand right now. I'm explaining to you guys why this Camaro is worth more money than this Batmobile right here. Now, the first reason being is that this one has gold Spectre Frame paint on there. People go crazy for the gold paint. The 2022 most valuable super is the Honda Civic because it is gold. People love gold. Also, if you have pink cars, it is worth money. As you can see right here, the Batmobile does not have that gold paint on there. It is red. Red is also a valuable color, but not as valuable as the gold, which I would say the gold is the most valuable supers out there. Now, second being that this one is a Camaro. People go crazy for the Camaros. If you have any redline Camaros from the 60s, it is worth money. This one is the Batmobile. Not as, a, not as popular as the Camaro, so it's not worth as much. So that is the difference. And this one goes for about $45, and this one goes for about $70 plus. So if you find one in gold, it's worth more money. All right, so I just grabbed another car off the case that I think is kind of hard to tell that it's a Super. We're going to go ahead and compare it. This is the regular one right here on the top, again, and this is the Super down here. Not much of a difference in that paint job, so you always want to make sure you got the Real Rider wheels. Check up on the bottom there, make sure you got that gold flame, and uh, make sure it says TH. On this one, the TH is right there on that front fender, so make sure you got the right car. I know it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, 
I don't want you guys getting scammed. I know a lot of people on Facebook try to sell these regular castings as supers just because it's got the same name on there. But there's a lot more to it than just the name of the car. You got to look for those real rider wheels, the Spectre Flame paint, the gold flame symbol beneath the car, and also fourth, make sure it says TH on the car. Now, I've been to a lot of shows and I've seen a lot of supers. I want to tell you guys, some people will buy them online loose on eBay and put them in a regular card. So when you're out buying a super, you want to make sure that the paint job matches the actual car. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the uh, difference here in the picture. So let me get you a different car here that is pretty obvious. Like this 32 Ford that is pretty obvious. Um, the paint artwork on the card is a dead giveaway. So here's the regular. Look at the paint difference on the artwork right here. Um, it's a dead giveaway. Look at the wheels. The wheels are orange on the Super and the wheels are not orange on the regular and the paint job is a little darker on the Super and it's not as dark on the regular one. Um, that's a pretty de dead giveaway. On this one you can see the Real Rider wheels are orange. Pretty obvious. It's got that darker Spectre Flame shiny paint job on there and it also says TH on it and it's got that gold symbol beneath the car there. You can see it. Get it in focus. This one also has a black base and the regular has an orange base. Another dead giveaway. So make sure when you guys are out hunting that you guys find these cars. Um, the Supers, there's about one every eight to nine cases, I want to say. I've seen on Facebook people saying it's every six cases, but out hunting in the real world, it's not. I've been through seven cases sometimes, no Super. I've been through three cases and they all had supers. It's all luck, guys. So best of luck, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me so much. And I put out a lot of Hot Wheels content. So stay tuned for the best Hot Wheels content out there. I'm only going forward from here. So thank you guys for watching. And please like and subscribe.